uh, today this topic is uh, actually a very basic uh, electronic hacking. So um, as you can see from the title over here, you know, how do we modify a smoke detector? Um, but before we start, right, I'll just have just I'd like to say this. There's already uh, smart smoke uh, detection features already around in the market. Uh, yeah, so there's already IoT uh, devices around. So there's no need to modify it if you doesn't want to. But it just happened that you know we have some lying around and we don't need a reason to do the hacking. Okay, so yeah. I don't have a picture of uh, before modification because it's not meant for any presentation. So I took a picture of the after modification. This is uh, uh, a picture of the PCB which is uh, inside here. So for such devices, right, it's actually a low cost device which you can buy from the hardware store. Uh, usually retail for 990 and when there's a sale, it, it might retail for 590. You know, that's the price range. Okay. So, this is a very quick uh, modification estimation about uh, a two hours, uh, you know, something for you to spend away two hours of your time. So uh, just let me uh, go through the basic way whenever you want to uh, tap any signals for any bots, right? Uh, basically, there's two, two, two things that we have to figure out. First is what are the signals that we are trying to tap? And second is uh, after tapping the signal, how do we link that signal to whatever electronics that we want to link it to? So basically, it's just these two steps. Okay, for step one, if I were to put it in a super generic way, right? Basically, for electronics hacking, uh, two things. Either we tap the signal from the sensor, or if not, uh, we tap the signal from the actuator. So basically, either we tap it from the input or we tap it at the output. So that's it. So in this, uh, for this one, I took the easy way out, so I'm actually tapping the signal at the actuator, which is the buzzer. Okay. The second step is, uh, once we get the signal, um, how do we convert that signal to a suitable voltage level of the, our electronic box? So for example, if I remember correctly, um, this smoke detector is a uh, 9 volt stuff. Uh, the electronics board right, is actually a 5 volt thing. So there's a need for what I call a, a voltage conversion. So in this case, uh, we just use whatever is available. Uh, so it's a, just a MOSFET and some uh, resistors. So um, I took a picture of it uh, just now. So uh, this is the modification. Uh, it's not a super clear resolution. Uh, if you try to see, uh, you can see over here there's this uh, little black thing. That's the MOSFET. Then these are the resistors and tapping of the wire. So the, the hack is actually a very simple hack. You can see over at the left hand side, that's the schematic. So it's a very easy hack. Uh, and these are the tools that require, that's all. So with such a hack, right, basically what, what is done is that um, Okay, I, I'm unable to power this up right now. So what is done is that you actually tap the signal from here and link it to whatever electronics you want. So uh, if you want to add Wi-Fi feature, you want to add Bluetooth feature, whatever feature is actually on the dev board. So it's a very simple hack. So yeah, is there any questions for me? That's all. Okay. Okay, thanks. <laughs>